what a perfect way to start a cruise. This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com and the 2023 AACA Eastern uh, Nationals. Uh, this is the uh, Thursday night cruise put on by the Chesapeake region, AACA. I'm here early, but we still have some early birds coming in. So let's take a walk about, shall we? There's mom's car for you. Nice 1950 Chevy. It's a little deluxe sedan. We always like the 62. You see this from every place. I know. We went to Trelaw and the stage with it. Remember I that? know. That's the one. Oh, did you see the video on it? No, I didn't. Good. Nice little Lincoln. That's a green one, gee. It's a 93. I always like this color. It's not nice. Is this about 65? Let's see if I'm right. No, nope. three. I've got to learn my uh, Corvette vents. Because that's where you really get it. Got a few under cover over here. I'm going to jump over. Yeah, I'll get to the Chevelle in a few minutes. You know me with wagons, though. We got the Mercury over here, so we got to capture the Merc. Oh, gorgeous Ford. What year? Nice. We'll take a closer look in a few minutes. I know, every time you turn around, you fall in love. I love the nylock on the side. Now look at this, they have the two different wood grains. This is an 85. Wow, is this a luxury cruiser or what? Now this was really cool. I like this feature of the uh, Mercs. This is a Colony Park. The seats are side to side not facing forward or rear. That is neat. Let's keep going. As I promised, here's that 396 SS. I swear, I think there are more SS's today than there were back in the day. Of course, the 69. Automatic console. Just a pretty little car. Little Deuce Coupe, but I like this Volkswagen. Ah, this is Super Beetle. Look at that modern curved windshield. I wonder if this is a U.S. destined car. Let's see, 74. No, okay. It is U.S. Volkswagen did it right. What they did was that they continued the Beetle and overlapped it with the Rabbit. Look at this, just an honest little Chevy Nova, Chevy 2, I should say, to be specific. Nova was at uh, trim, trim level. This is what, 63, 67. Oh, beautiful manual transmission. Three on the tree. I love it, just love it. Yeah, Chevy 2 Nova, there we go. Sweet. We saw this girl driving in. Now, you notice the gas tank is out of the way so it does not get hit. There's no danger up here. None whatsoever. I love the ignition lock right there. That also locks the steering. Look at the way these fenders are made. This is a Rio. Oh, 
What a beautiful truck. Now, trucks, really cool, heavy vehicles, which was normal, no front brakes. But look how crudely this is done. Big four cylinder, wow. You want valve springs? Check it out. That is so cool. No, it's interesting. I think this is an F head, which is really pretty interesting. I gotta look into it. I'll put it in there. Yeah, the Uga horn and of course the bell. The owner's on the phone, so I'm not going to get into it. I'll come back. This is a gardener. Again, very unusual to see. 1923, there were a lot of makes out there coming and going. It was fascinating what was going on. You're going to see the same thing with the electrics today because to get into it, uh, they could buy components. I like the, uh, oh, what's that, Fox Martin? Africa, Stone Martin, that's it, Stone Martin. Cool. Here are Mercedes. You know me with Studebaker, gotta get the Hawk. Is this Golden Hawk gorgeous? These were cars. Now, check it out. You could see how it looked to the other cars of the 50s. I mean, it was light years ahead of everybody, absolutely everybody. They were having problems at this point. Uh, they did not realize that the coupe would be so fantastic. This is a 57. I want to show you, look at this gold upholstery, just gorgeous. And what I really like is that when people bring their cars out, they have gorgeous models uh, showing off the cars. This is beautiful, just beautiful. I love the engine turn dashboard. Yeah. Look at that. This is just, Fantastic. 289 supercharge? Yes. Very nice. Oh, that's right. I don't want you in. I got your gorgeous model in. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we like pretty ladies and pretty it, cars. Damn heavy. I don't even bother. Oh, uh, I can understand. This car is a statement to itself. Just fantastic. And what's interesting is that the design lasted for a long time. Uh, Again, look at the way how Studebaker engineered their fins. It was actually added on. You could, uh, is it? Let's see. Yeah, from down there, the seam's right up there. Goes right along there. About 64 that uh, this design ran through in various um, with various changes, but just fantastic. Now, check out this uh, Mercury. I, this was typical. This is a 59. This was typical of the era. Fantastic. Joining the hardtop station wagon revolution. Look at this upholstery with the silver threads going through. Now, the big M, wow. The clock all the way in the corner. That is command of the road. I love the headliner, the three seats. What a car. What a car. Those lines are fantastic. Are you going to pick up again? Now, wait a minute. That looks like a modern slinky, not an old one. Everything else, the jacks, the skates. That phone is not 59. That's newer. The green stamp. Oh, but... This is so much fun, this stuff. It really is.
It really is. I want to show you one more. I love that. Mark, look at these lines, would you? I gotta show you one more thing. It's got the 59 Merc Road Test and the 59, December 59 Playboy with Jack Kerouac, Alberto uh, Moravia, Ronald Dahl, Max Schulman. I'm telling you, there were great articles and wonderful writing in Playboy, and no one believes it. There are only 5,959 bills. That's it. Let's go to another wagon. One of my favorites, the Buick Sport Wagon. This is the 68. Ah, tell me a minute. 69, pardon me. No wood trim side. Which I kind of appreciate it. I liked it, especially on a green car. Here's the Vista roof line. See how the seat folds down. Nice view. Look. When the door opens, the uh, tailgate opens, you got the step right there. Such nice lines. Station wagons were really the thing to have. They were like the hot ticket uh, from the 50s on through the 60s into the 70s. What a beautiful combination. The 59 Mercury wagon and the 69 Buick Sport wagon.